All right, so I've now sorted this side of the clamp um, uh, just with some scrap metal I used here. I, um, I'm not sure if this is going to be the final configuration, but it's going to do for now. Uh, it's, there's still a little bit of movement there, but um, I, I think under force, un, under clamping force, I think it'll probably be okay. Um, so really all I've got here is uh, just using some scrap. I've got a bracket here which spreads the load over the clamping plate. Um, that's threaded in here. Um, I've got some threaded rod. Uh, I think it was uh, 5 8 threaded rod or something like that. Um, with nuts on either side, uh, two on either side just to lock these in. Um, through the side rail here I've got uh, one of the long threaded rod couplers um, in here that I've welded through to give me the thread to, to drive it in and out. Um, and then on the outside here I've got another coupler that I welded um, and then I've just made like a vice handle type thing with some ends welded on the end to stop it going through. So that's welded on the end here. I, I made sure that I, um, I, uh, I move this in enough to give clearance for a socket here also if I get a bit lazy and want to put my ratchet gun on the end there. Um, so yeah, so that, that works quite well. Let's move that in and out. As you can see. And should provide plenty of clamping force from this side. Um, also in the last video you saw with the ram on the other side that the um, we had that mishap where the the little brass fitting snapped and the the pin bent um, so the solution to that I, I already had with me and had ordered I didn't have to do any modifications um, so what I might do I'll stop it there and I'll hook up some air and then show you the result of that Alright, so the solution was, um, and this is something I've already pre-ordered, there's a different type of um, coupling here for the air fitting. You'll see this one, um, the difference. Okay, so here was the old type here. Um, but this one here, you'll see it's got a, not a tap on top. So what these are, they're an um, air speed controller. Um, and what it allows you to do is slow down the speed of the air without actually reducing the PSI. So you still get the full amount of pressure, um, but you can slow down the speed. Now, um, I've actually got these taps fully open um, for the maximum amount of speed that they allow. And I'll just zoom you out there so you can see um, this will be now the, the fastest speed that this can do. You can see that's a lot more controllable. But still offering plenty of plenty of clamping force. And we don't have that bang 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 that we had last time that caused all that problem. I don't know how long these silicon things are gonna last. You can see how much that expands the air inside. So um, I plan on putting those, um, another pair of those on the, the um, up and down movement of the injection module but not on the ram that actually does the in injecting because we want that to happen fast. So um, what I'll do now is I'm going to uh, put the rest back on top again and um, we'll start figuring out a final fitment of the uh, air regulators um, and hoses and maybe get the control panel screwed on. So I'll bring you back once I've done made a bit more progress. Alright, uh, so I've got the top back on now, that was one hell of an effort. I had to use the bloody engine hoist as you can see in the, in the background there. It weighs a ton. Um, yeah, I'm doing things uh, 
single-handedly obviously doesn't make things easier. It's another pair of hands. We probably could have lifted it without a problem. I lifted it off on my own, but getting it back up there was a bugger of a job. Um, all right, so what I'm doing now is just um, I'm swapping out these with, like I said before, with um, more of these um, airflow attachments. So I thought I'll give you a closer look at that. That's basically what they look like. I'll compare it to the others that I was using, which is just a straight connector um, and so that, that's what they are there and so you can see they've got a restricted airflow and it just works like a tap with a little lock screw on there um, so you screw it down and it restricts the flow but um, I found with the the first ones that I used is having this all the way open it was still restricted enough to slow it down considerably to it to a nice pace um, and still gives you the advantage of having um, uh, the full amount of PSI, which is, which is good. They're not very expensive, few dollars each. Again, a, another eBay purchase from uh, China and the standard um, push connector there I'm using for the silicon hose. So, yeah, pretty nifty little idea. goes in there. Another, actually another feature of this I'll show you, which is quite good too, is um, the, the attachment that the hose goes into. This actually um, swivels, as you can see there too, even once you've got it in. So, um, so that, one's, that one's already screwed in, so you can swivel these around to any direction, which is also a really nice feature. Those on. So I think the next step I'm going to do is probably figure out now where I'm going to uh, connect the air regulators. So I've got one air regulator for each each of the rams, um, and I'm unsure at this stage as to whether I'm going to run the the regulators and I'll show you what they look like I mean obviously they're just a I don't know if I've showed these before on camera they're just your basic you know, this sort of thing air regulator they come with a, a valve another eBay purchase from our friends in China because even for us to go to the local cheap hardware chain here for one of these I'm paying I think around about thirty dollars each or forty dollars each and I got these off eBay for I think uh, fifteen bucks each or something. Just nothing. Come to the little PSI gauge. So I'm not sure whether I'm gonna mount these before um, before the lever or afterwards, obviously I can only use this for one direction, which will be uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm going to figure this out actually now I think about it. Hmm. Alright, I'll give it some thought and I'll bring you back. Alright, so just a quick wrap up on the uh, progress for this weekend before I uh, completely wrap it up and pack it up for the weekend and go and have me Sunday afternoon beer or two. Uh, so I'll just take you in and show you what we've done. So you can see here, first off, I've just fitted the piano hinge along here so that hinges up nicely. Um, this is all in the way at the moment, obviously, because of the configuration of these hoses. Um, I jumped on eBay and I have ordered a bunch of brass elbows that will take the hoses straight down so we won't have this problem. Um, just waiting on the China Mail to deliver those for us. Um, so that's all in there ready to go. Uh, the other thing we did uh, was talking about fitting the regulators so I'll show you what I've done there. So 
So you can see here I've fitted the regulator for the clamping ram, uh, main air feed coming in through here, um, putting the, the regulator on the, um, the push on the piston rather than the retract, um, obviously because I figured that's, that's the motion that we want to be able to control. Um, is the clamping force rather than the separation. So the duct tape here is just a temporary measure at the moment to keep the hose tidy. Now with the other regulators what I did is I just welded up a, just out of some scrap, just a T-bracket here uh, with the other two here mounted here, the regulators for um, our lift ram uh, for our lift ram which is there and also obviously for the uh, injection ram which is up here um, so I haven't connected those up just yet so I've only just fitted those but um, yeah so I'm happy with that progress and uh, so the next step will be to um, Get all these hoses hooked up here, in through the regulators, and then tied it up through that control panel. And once that's done, and all the pneumatics are working, then um, we can move on to the electrics. And once the electrics are done, well, we're not really far off from finishing at that point. So, um, fingers crossed we don't come across too many barriers to get there, and... Uh, uh, where are we? We're end of October. Mm -hmm. I'd like to say I'll be pushing out past before Christmas, but um, if I get it done before the end of the new year, I'd be pretty happy. I can't see that happening. It never works out the way you'd like it. So yeah, we'll just plod along as long as we're making some sort of progress. It's all good. So I'll wrap that video up here. And uh, once again, cheers. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment, um, make any suggestions and uh, subscribe, share, all that other fandangle YouTube type stuff and um, yeah, alright, see you later.